One of the artifacts across all our Salesforce workshops for requirements is a reference model. Now this particular video is coming from our series on uh, Salesforce CPQ and this example here is uh, coming from our work with uh, SaaS companies. Now the reference model is only a conceptual model at this stage of the project uh, during requirements, but it's also pointing you to the technical system design uh, down the line. The uh, Salesforce CPQ modules uh, include the uh, product configuration as in uh, product SKUs, the promotional SKUs, or the bundles that you may be creating. And we've placed the uh, price books in the picture straddling between uh, CPQ and uh, and a back-end billing system. Now this is the practice that we see most often that uh, pricing is being maintained elsewhere and the price books in Salesforce are uh, syncing to it. Now discounts and approvals are configured in CPQ uh, and managing the information on quotes and individual quote line items is again standard CPQ functionality. Uh, this uh, coming, uh, given the fact that this uh, example is coming from the SaaS world, you have the uh, subscriptions, the add-ons, the renewals, they're all captured against contracts. And uh, in the picture, you're seeing the opportunities transitioning to become orders. It's quite common to have uh, billing being driven from a backend, uh, typically an ERP system. A quick caveat here, uh, the Salesforce uh, billing uh, product also includes some of this functionality, as in pricing, billing, generating invoices, uh, revenue recognition, depending on the type of business you are in, the integration with general ledger, the recording of the transactions against the uh, general ledger and so on. So let's look at uh, the modules now under uh, this block called enablers down below. Now this may be, these blocks may be uh, in uh, Salesforce or uh, these could uh, these could include some app exchange extensions to Salesforce or in some cases uh, these are systems completely external to Salesforce. So all in all they, we are now talking about uh, integrations to the uh, CPQ system. Now likely uh, you have a system for uh, selling your products online uh, or you have systems for managing uh, partners maybe uh, could be Salesforce partner communities for instance. Uh, systems uh, perhaps to provision and ma manage licenses for customers uh, in the in the SaaS world. You may have an application or a set of applications for managing uh, documents, for managing uh, electronic signature workflows. The advanced approvals are uh, strictly speaking a CPQ feature and you may have uh, deal desks uh, within your organization managing such uh, advanced approval uh, workflows. So I uh, hope, uh, hope you like this video and uh, hope this playlist on uh, CPQ is useful. We are always interested to hear from you about your uh, Salesforce projects and how we can help. Thank you.